five, four, three, two, one. Untap Bell River Ale. Shake beer with Thunder Hill. Better beer. Hi, I'm James Knott, and this is your Better Beer Authority. Today, we are sipping on Bell Ringer Ale from RJ Rockers Brewing in Spartanburg, South Carolina. The brewery was opened in 1997 by Mark R. Johnson as a brew pub in downtown Spartanburg and now produces over 25,000 barrels a year on a 30 barrel brewing system. This beer comes in at 8.5% and is called an American Strong Ale on the major beer websites. This is a catch-all category for American beers that are pushing the envelope on style. The brewery's website is a little vague and refers to it as a high-gravity offering. They suggest drinking it out of a goblet or stein. Uh, according to their website, Chef, this beer has malt and hops. Would you expect mm. that from a drink like this? I mean, it, that's just, it blows me away. Because, uh, you know, to have a beer that has both malt and hops, does it, does it also contain water? What's your favorite part of the beer, the malt or the hops? <laughs> Honestly, it, it is the hops. I mean, you, you definitely get some nice hop characteristics. You get some citrus notes. You get uh, some apricot notes. A uh, little bit of a kind of a lemony off sweetness. Uh, nice clean finish to it. I, I think it's a nice, very, very drinkable beer. Joby, are you getting anything in the aroma on this beer? Not really. I mean, you, you have to pour hard, pull hard on the nose to uh, pull anything out of it, but there is a, a slight uh, citrus uh, hop aroma on it. Um, but again, it's not overpowering. Uh, it's definitely. Would you guess that this was dry hopped or not? Dry I would. Hopped? I would say it was not. I was just gonna say, I, if I had to guess, it's not dry hopped. Um, but you know, it, it's still a great beer. I mean, I think it would be even better if, if it were if it were dry hopped to give that more aromatic uh, presence to it. 8.5% ABV. Is this going to ring your bell? I think it is. You can't tell that it's 8.5. I mean, it's uh, it's a very mellow beer. I was saying to these guys earlier that it reminds me of 90 Minute, but a little bit mellower and very, very smooth and definitely an unassuming beer. If you're going to drink a lot of this, you're going to be in trouble, but it's going to be hard not to drink a lot of this. It's a great beer. Chef, what's your rating on this beer? I'm going to give it a nine. I think this is a, a, a very solid beer. I think we've we've had you know the, the the likes of these different beers we were talking about. It, it, it had been compared to a couple of different beers, but uh, uh, ninety minute uh, Randall uh, ninety minute that we had at uh, at the brew pub uh, at Dogfish Head, I think was very similar in characteristics. Where it's, it has the hop characteristics, uh, but it, it is very drinkable. It's smooth got some nice flavor to it, doesn't have any overpowering notes at the back end of it or anything like that. I think this is a really, really uh, pleasing beer. It seems like it has more, a ton more malt than hops. Yes, yeah, absolutely. That's what I'm thinking about, it. and that's why it gets that Randall it's got effect. That, it's got that Randall, it's got that sweetness, you know, that, that off sweetness with mixed in with the citrus and the apricot kind of hop flavor characteristic that just makes it very pleasant, very drinkable. Absolutely. So, a nine? It's a high recommendation. Joby, do you recommend this beer? I do. I'm going with an eight, James. I like it a lot. Like uh, Chef was saying, it doesn't have that overpowering uh, finish. So for those non-hopheads uh, hop heads or people that are early to, into craft beer, I think this would be a good one for them. Um, just because it's got the hop characteristics, but it doesn't stay on your palate for two or three hours afterwards, so. It's a long time. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like those beers. But uh, anyways, I, I think it's a real smooth uh, drinking beer and I would definitely recommend this. Scott, what do you think about all the particulates that are floating around in here? I mean, there's some, there there's some large chunks. This thing's got <laughs> junk in the trunk. You know, I think uh, if you put it up to light, you know, it kind of throws off a prism effect. So I think it's great. Or that could be the goblet, one of the two. Uh, I think it's great. I don't think it affects the beer as far as flavor. I don't think it does anything negative. I, I'd be interested to see what this beer would taste like filtered. But I think it's a great beer. And I think for me, it's an eight. Honestly, it would be a nine easily for me if it was dry hopped and it had that, that had citrus, aroma. yeah, that pine. Yeah. You know, uh -huh. If it had some of that, that grapefruit aroma, I think it would push over the edge for me and be an easy nine. Uh, but other than that, it's an eight for me, but very drinkable, great beer. So I'm throwing this out to the group. Um, we have another, we, we, 
We have another RJ Rockers beer in the official Better Beer Authority fridge just off set. Does this make you more likely or more interested in trying that other beer? Absolutely. This beer is great. I would try it any day. Yeah. I've had RJ Rockers, a couple of brews or beers from RJ Rockers before, and I think that it's a nice brewery. And I think that this is a good showcase of their brewery. Do you think and this is the best one, or do you think the others are better? Just out of curiosity for the viewers, is there something better than this that they offer? I mean, this is the, to me. This is probably one of their top beers. I mean, I, I do like that 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 flavor co composition to it. I like the fact that you get a burst of hop flavor, and then it does kind of just dwindle off to basically not not a lot of uh, carryover effect to does, it. Yeah, it so. does have that kind of hot burn. That's yeah, it's got, it's got, I mean, that right up front, yep. it's got a nice hot burn. It, I, and it, it kind of a little bit of, it, being at 8.5, it's got a little bit of an alcohol kind of warming to it. But then it just kind of smooths right out at the end. And uh, I think it's, yeah, it's very, very cool. Good. Okay. Bell Ringer Ale comes in at 8.3 on the BBA scale. You can read our rating scale at betterbeerauthority.com. Let us know what you think of the beer in the comments section. Thanks for watching. I'm James Knott, and this is your Better Beer Authority. Better Beer Authority. Better Beer Authority. Better Beer Authority. I'm James Knott, and this is your Better Beer Authority. Ring my bell. This is what we do. Ring this is right. <laughs> <laughs> not. This is the Better Beer Authority. <laughs> <laughs>